In this section, we are going to customize our sign up and also get a better understanding of this authenticator component. Before we get started, let's run our app in the simulator. To do that, go to terminal, new terminal, and then react native run iOS. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna manually import all of these components, the UI components here. The sign up, the sign in, the forgot password, and also our confirm code, this confirm sign up. So the name of those components built in are sign in, sign up, confirm sign up, confirm sign in, forgot password, so let's see if we've got them all. We've got our sign in, our sign up, our confirm sign up, our forgot password. Okay, let's save that. And then in our authenticator, we wanna override the defaults because right now by default, it will load all of these components. So to do that, we're gonna use the prop hide default equal to true and save that. Now you see nothing is being displayed. We'll have to manually add these components as child components to the authenticator. So let's add those, sign up, sign in, confirm sign up, Confirm sign in. And forgot password. All right, so we have all of these. Let's save that. So now what we're doing, we're manually adding these components so that we can override each of these with our own custom components. So we've got sign in, sign up, forgot password. Let's just make sure everything is there before we continue. We've got our sign up, our sign in, forgot password, etc. All right, so let's start by overriding the sign up component. So before we do anything in here, I'd like to go over the auth state and how the authenticator keeps track of that. We're going to add on state change, which is a prop in the authenticator that gets fired whenever the state changes. Just to see this in action, let's console log the state. So auth state and we'll just output the auth state. and then it's off state. Save that. All right, so in the authenticator on state change, whenever the state changes, the off state changes, we're gonna console log the actual state. So remember also, we can set the default state in our authenticator. So for example, we're gonna set this to sign in, which is the default. Whenever we select one of these, this on state change gets fired. So bring up your terminal where your app was running and you'll see it's displaying the auth state from this console.log statement right here, just for us to see that. So I'm going to just kind of click around. So if I click on sign up, my auth state is sign up sign in, sign in, forgot password, back to sign in, and then confirm a code. As you can see, now we have access and we know how to change the state or what we need to do to navigate in our custom components. Let's organize our code a little bit. Let's create a directory in here called source, and then in our source directory, right click and create a new folder called components. We're going to keep all our 
components for these in this directory. So in our component, the first component we'll be creating is the signup. So let's create a new file, signup.js. The first thing we need to do in a React component is to import React from React. Remember, this is required in all our components. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to import a few useful components from React Native that I'm pretty sure I'm going to need in initially in this component. So let's import the view, the text, and a button from React Native. Next, we're going to do export default function, and this is called sign up, and we're going to pass the props to the component. Remember the export default will allow us to import this module later in our app.js. So let's return something here. Let's return a view with a text. We'll just say sign up. And we're also going to add a button. Let's take a look at this button component. Let's bring up our browser and take a look at the button component in React Native's documentation. So I'm just going to take this button right here. I'm going to copy this code. And let's go back to our sign up and just paste that in right here. OK, all right, so let's save that. And then my button and my sign up, I want to be able to go back to sign in, so we'll just say back to sign in and on press remember our props in our app.js we can we have an on state change so this is getting passed to all the child components here so we have access to props.onStateChange change to change the off state so here in our on press, we are going to call that function with a bad arrow function, and we're going to, we'll say props dot on state change, and this method takes the state. In this case, we want to go back to sign in, so we're going to change the state back to sign in because currently when we're in here, the state is sign up and then we're passing an empty object. So this is how we call the onStateChangeHandler when we press the button. Save that. Accessibility label, let's leave that in. We'll just say back to sign in. Okay, let's add another button. We'll just copy this and paste it. Remember in our sign up, let's go to our sign up so we can see. We have a back to sign in and then confirm code, confirm code. And the confirm a code will change the state to confirm sign up. That's what the state is called. So we've got confirm a code and back to sign in. So now when I click on confirm a code, the state changes to confirm sign up. And when I click on back to sign in, the on state change changes to sign in. All right, so let's save that. Let's go back to our app.js. All right, in our app.js, In our app.js, we have the sign up here. So to use our new sign up, we're going to import this file instead of the default sign up. So to do that, we just say import sign up from, remember it's in the source components directory. So we'll say source components and then sign up. And we'll delete this because we no longer want the default 
UI component. We want our own custom component. So we'll save that. And there we go. This is our component. All we have is a text with sign up, back to sign in, and confirm code. Let's see if that works. Yep, back to sign in. Go to sign up, confirm code. Yes, we have this displayed up here, but we'll take care of this in a minute. So let's go back to sign up. That's good. Now let's remove this from here. And to remove that, so in our sign up, we have access to all the props from the authenticator. One of the other props we have access to is the auth state. So we know we only want to display this if the sign up if the props that auth state is sign up. All right, so let's add some logic to return this sign up form only when the auth state is sign up. So to do that, we'll just add an if statement conditional here saying if props dot auth state equals sign up return all of this. Otherwise else return, basically we return nothing. Now you can see that sign up is no longer displayed anywhere here. It's only displayed here. Okay, that wraps up this section. In the next section, we'll add the form to the sign up component.